everything I ever say, whether it's good or bad, coming from my heart. Yeah. And if it's wrong, then, you know, God ain't finished with yeah. me yet. Let him check me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to say it as it comes from my heart because that's what we need. I don't care vibe with me. I can't trust nobody, especially no one who gon' ride with me. She said that she would die for me. Lie for me, I understand no liability. Give me car, can't trust my broski. Quickly show me when it's true. Excuse how crazy I look. I don't look that crazy. I just tried to film like a Instagram reel, a makeup reel, and that went so badly. <sighs> yes. <laughs> I mean, obviously it didn't go the way I had expected it to. It was so bad to the point where like I picked up the call. I remember my earrings by the way. I don't know if I look weird without them, but like why do I even say that? Don't I come on this thing without earrings? This channel with iron it was not that bad i wish i showed you guys before cleaning it off it was like my eye makeup and i didn't think it was that bad like i was going to do like a makeup look inspired by this makeup artist on instagram her name is laura ndeyanga i don't know how to pronounce her name but i'll put it on the screen i really love how her makeup looks her makeup looked always looks so good and she's not as active on instagram but she's really active on tiktok i came across um this makeup look that she did and i tried to recreate it and it just went <laughs> left because <laughs> who the hell do i think i am like I, as soon as the thing went left i was asking myself why i thought i could pull this off obviously i was filming, filming it so i had a clip i'll show you guys how much of it like what i tried to do and what i ended up getting like i just feel like it was a flop <sighs> This is somebody's reminder. You feel like you put the effort to do something and like, you know, it just didn't work out. Or maybe you put effort into doing something and, you know, your memory card messed up and everything got wiped off. It's just one of those ones. You have to pick yourself back up and keep going until the next. I want to eat and then I have a YouTube video that I really need to go up this week. So I'm going to start editing that. Not start, I've already started, but like I'm going to continue on, like I'm going to continue editing it. I will hopefully have it up by tomorrow or, tomorrow is Friday, today is Thursday, Friday or Saturday, God willing. It was so bad, you guys, the point where like my brother, this, my brother FaceTimed me in the middle of it and the minute he got on the call, he shouted, Jesus. <laughs> he was like, Close oh, so your eyes, but yeah, you guys, let me just go get some laundry and put another set of clothes in the laundry in the washer. Won't you you guys we're going to pick my sister up. I'm not going far, like she's not too far away from the house. But yeah, I'm going to take you guys along with me. I wanted to have my shower so I can just pick her up, come back home and just relax, but like I also don't want to go outside when I've just freshly had my shower. I don't know what it is, but I just always feel like maybe there are particles from the air that are like attaching themselves to my skin when I've literally just, especially when like I'm outside, when I've literally just come out of the shower and I'm about to like, I'm about to call it a day and you know, get on my bed and sleep. I don't like going outside and then having all this. It's, I think maybe it's a me thing, like it's in my head, but it makes sense to me. My red lights be ready. Red light blowing. You actually have to sit down and say, Look, this is what I experienced here and here. So it's fantastic. This one is long. It says, Hello, beautiful ladies. I wasn't going to write initially, but I was inspired by the woman whose husband is infertile, but told everyone she is the problem. I've had that exact same issue. Buckle up because this might be a bit long and triggering. My husband and I had been married for seven years and were unable to have kids. We'd always done fertility checks, so in 2020, I finally got him checked. Lo and behold, brethren, this man was impotent. Now this is where it gets crazy because I wasn't expecting what happened next. He went around telling people I was the problem and it's because I was a whore, I was a whore in university who had a number of abortions and my womb is ruined. Do you know what's 
was most the most helpful part. He's aware that I was assaulted in university and my parents oh. made me get a termination. Hmm. I've still not gotten over the trauma and for him to do that. I, I know now, he hates me. After seven years, let's not even get into the abuse from his family going from one deliverance to the other where pastors were sexually inappropriate. Sorry this is long but I'm rounding up. Anyway, last year, I tried to do my own back and decided to fuck his much hotter, richer, younger brother. Shabi and Meho, let's go. His brother lives in the US <laughs> and I knew he would be home during Christmas, so I plotted quietly and wickedly. It was supposed to be a one-time thing, but I'm not gonna lie, it was really, really good and he's quite handsome. Oh so how did I end up with this useless brother? It became a bit of an affair and he's talking and out of the country to see me a few times. Best part is he doesn't really get along with his family, so he doesn't feel bad either. <laughs> Anyways... Guess who got, oh yeah, I guess who got pregnant. And now my husband oh my is God. looking at me. He doesn't know how to go around telling people because what's he going to tell? He's, he, doesn't know, he doesn't know what to tell people because she be my womb was spoiled. Oh my God. Best part, his mother, my biggest up, is worshipping the ground I walk on. We even done Thanksgiving and one powerful testimony about how I was able to take him after a few years and a damaged womb, whatever. Ah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I filed for divorce after um I filed for divorce and I'm just about to have my beautiful baby. His brother is in the picture and is a very good uncle. A lot has happened in between and I wish I could give you the details, but I've taken a lot of a lot of your time. I wanted to let you guys know that while some some of our sisters are suffering in silence, some of us are going to be apologetic unapologetically wicked because men are evil and so love you guys. Wow. Yeah. Sorry, but are you like hearing this Why podcast? You not be able to have children, and then two of you are not just discussing it. Do you know what it is? Oh my days. Are you guys hearing this? Say hi to Rebecca. Hi guys, so it's me from the future. I'm not meant to be making an appearance in this vlog, but like I just realized that I, that I didn't explain the last clips or the last clip. So that's what I'm here to do. I and my sisters, we have a brand or a business called We Creative, and we basically do graphic design plus branding. Anything that has to do with graphics, you know, helping brands with their identity or like visuals, whatever. We do all of that. So services we basically offer are brand design, digital design, apparel designs, um, illustrations and icons, and logo designs, flyers, banners, and yeah just reach out to us let us know what you're looking to do we, we do mood boards as well if you're a business you're looking to start up your own brand or your own business and you really don't know how to go about it you want to start with your logo you know what you want your brand to be all about but you don't really have like the skills to like put that together that digitally you don't know how to like put together a brand guideline basically the feel of your brand the fonts that are going to be for your brand the colors the key colors that are going to be for your brand your brand colors like you just want you know what you want your brand to be all about and you want to keep a consistent handwriting we can help you with a brand guideline we can help you out with mood boards we can and you know name it if you're you're an established business and you're looking to like do some kind of marketing for your brand and and you're looking to put together nice visuals for social media or like you know you want to do some flyers banners all of that we've got you like to be very honest this is not me even trying to brag but we're quite good in my opinion so yeah this is me i'm just trying to like kind of explain to you guys that last clip that was me i was kind of like taking pictures of um a thank you card and one other card that we 
had recently done for this platform called the bridge so i was just you know that was like the physical result of what we had designed for them so that's what i was doing i was kind of working on some other things as well under we creative i we offer that service we work with all types of brands by the way fashion beauty skincare skincare and beauty are kind of like the same thing wellness brands whatever you may be we want to work with you we're happy to work with you you can do consultations we talk to the brands find out what they want what they would like how they would like anything to be gone about and obviously we carry along with all of our processes so if there's something you don't really like we can obviously change that because you're paying for that service everything you need to know about us on our instagram page um i'll put like i'll put our instagram page beside the screen here and then you can kind of take a look at some of the things that we've worked on we've done in the past a lot of the things that we've we currently we have we've worked on um we haven't posted on our page yet that's something that i'm working on and i'm going to definitely like be better at like you know putting out the things that we've done and also like updating that page with like our process and what we're currently working on all of that so that just so that businesses brands can see what you know we have to offer what we've done what we can do for them all of that so yeah that's it i just came here to like plug you guys with we creative because we are really good at what we do and we want you to use us The days have been really gloomy. Anyways, um, I just wanted to come on here because yesterday, you guys, excuse my edges because I'm really overdoing my edges at this point. I just honestly cannot be asked. Yesterday, I was telling you guys how like I didn't, I don't understand what's going on with my skin, but I'm feeling so much better about my skin today. Um, I feel like I didn't know what was going on with my skin, and when I don't know what is causing my problem, I kind of panic. Like I, I start panicking. I'm, I'm, I'm unhappy. That kind of thing. I feel like I kind of understand what's going on now because I feel my skin was really dehydrated and just I feel like my skin was just really dehydrated and super dry. So it didn't have like the glow that it used to have, and a lot of what was causing it was obviously I was in that polish choice, which did not agree with my skin, and I was also using my Kojic acid soap and because of polish choice had already dried up my skin so much i now like i stopped using my kojic acid soap acid soap because i was using the polish choice toner because i didn't need that many things drying up my skin but right after i stopped using the polish choice toner like two days after i you know started my kojic acid soap again which was like the wrongest decision because it <laughs> suck the life out of my skin suck the moisture out of my skin my skin just felt so dehydrated looked very dehydrated and looked super it just lacked moisture i was struggling because i was just like what's causing this what's causing this but i i don't know for some reason i just this thing i, I watch a lot of like skincare videos and i know like hydration has always been like the best thing for me it has always worked for my skin and my skin just looks more alive very super plump and, and very nice whenever my skin is properly hydrated and my skin barrier is intact so at uh, one night i was just I, I think it was just yesterday i was just thinking like what's going on with my skin and everything and something one voice in my head was just like if not just hydrate hydrate just hydrate because because usually when your skin is breaking out the first response at least for me my first response is to like you know suck the moisture out of my skin like just use stuff that would dry out my skin just so that it dries out like the breakouts of my skin but like obviously that's not the right thing to do you're just going to damage your skin barrier you're going to irritate your skin and 
you're going to have more breakouts if you do that something at the back of my head was just like if not just hydrate just hydrate just hydrate i switched out my um cleanser my kojic acid soap for a gentle cleanser which is the which is the ren cleanser that i showed you guys but like you know i started there i was like okay yeah this is working fine for me but then i went back to using my kojic acid soap which was like i need time to properly hydrate my skin and you know repair my skin barrier that kind of thing i can't just like use this for like three days two days and then jump back right into the stuff with the acids because it's just it just doesn't make sense i switched it out for like a gentle cleanser which is the ren milk cleanser i've been using that and i just started doing like a whole hydration routine um i started using my hydration mask from fresh i feel like i've showed you guys that on this channel but i'm just going to show you guys again um, i feel like i've showed you guys this on this channel before and i use it but not as much as i've started using it now um i say i said doing just i just switched out my routine for like something that was more hydrating and then i also did this black tea firming overnight mask from fresh as well for repairing my skin i see like a huge difference from what my skin looks like oh my god i've been making like video diaries and i've been taking pictures of like my skin and because i just couldn't figure out what was going on i almost like you put some videos and, and videos and pictures of how my skin looked the last few days compared to how it's looking now i'm just so happy because i had a lot of like texture on my forehead as well but um it's beginning to like it's becoming better it's getting better i can i can see it getting better as opposed to before like i would try you know okay i'm going to go back to using my kojic acid soap okay i'm going to use some more of the polar choice toner and it's like i don't see any progress my skin is just the same but i didn't know i, I didn't know what my skin needed this whole time was hydration and I, the funny thing is that i've always known how important hydration is in my routine but for some reason you know when the devil wants to strike and make you unhappy he will collect your sense of reasoning as in he will collect your like you just know i know my skin is dry i know my skin looks very like but it just didn't click to me that you need to hydrate up until like yesterday and I, I was after i literally prayed like i literally prayed i committed my skin into god's hands and i told god please heal this skin that was when i got like there was a voice in my head just telling me if not hydrate your skin and it sounds it sounds it sounds like what she like it sounds crazy but like honestly after i prayed this voice in my head i was just like if not hydrate your skin and that was what i started to do i just want to be focused on like hydrating my skin and repairing my skin barrier i can focus on like dealing with scars later i look so crusty oh my god this hair is going like i need to take it off today I take it off today because I'm making it tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow morning, so I take up this night. But anyways, um, I need to go get ready because my sister is having her 30th birthday um photo shoot today, and um, I need to go and get ready. There, and yeah, I'll see you guys when I get there. And also, you know, when I'm taking off my hair, we'll show you guys as well. Um, but yeah, let's go. You're so cute. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I feel like I'm not going to. I'm, I don't think. I don't think. Hey. 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 Not that we have not started. <laughs> Better warn yourself. Oh. Love will overbound. All negative. Oh, negative. And bring in all the so okay hi guys so we uh we, we decided today is my sister's birthday by the way yeah, and we decided um to go i don't know if it's dinner or like 
lunch i really don't know what's happening yet but we decided to um do kings and lemons so that's why i'm ready um, before i go anywhere i'll try and film a reel i'm trying to film a hair reel actually so i'm going to do that really briefly and then we'll go hi guys so i filmed a so i was gonna try and film a quick curl so i filmed a style my braids with me for the day kind of i don't know how i'm going to like phrase it or put the title but like you know just like kind of style my braids with me for today that was the real and i hope it turned out well i'm not sure they, i don't know like i wouldn't know till i started dating but hopefully you know i did my very best i hope it turned out nice enough this is how i styled my hair for the day i just put it in a bun i put the scarf around it um i think i mentioned in my vlogs before this scarf is from zara my top is from urban outfitters and my jeans are from zara everything i ever say whether it's good or bad coming from my heart yeah and if it's wrong then you know god ain't finished with yeah. me yet let him check me you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna say it as it comes from my heart because that's what we need okay vibe with me i can't trust nobody especially no one who gonna ride with me she said that she would die for me lie for me i understand no liability get me caught can't trust my broski quickly showed me when this trigger spark don't have a heart i'm cute i'm too slow fish up off the roof and that's just a start be down we're up for years then we split now we just apart why i fell alone why we can't crow why we barely Turn up out of the blue on the back. 